All right, it's been a few weeks since we've done an update on the battery import project. I um, guess we should probably rename that, but uh, anyway, it's not really a project anymore. It's a full-fledged company, so it's been a couple weeks on that. Not a lot has been happening, unfortunately. Um, I wanted to give you a quick update on a few things, and then we'll get into taking a peek inside the battery, um, because we're still waiting on being able to do some some involved testing and showing you guys what's going on with that. So first thing I did mention that we have a warehouse, uh, you know, in contract, uh, deposit put down, all that stuff moving in July 1st. So that's exciting to me. Anybody who is a, a small business owner or anything like that has, has had that experience. And it, you know, it's, it's exciting to move into a new facility and to get operations started. So, I'm uh, working on that in the background now. Another juicy tidbit, um, Top Band told me that they are working on a procedure um, for advanced users or for me to do on behalf of other users, but basically there's going to be a BMS setting that you can change or a calibration or a, a, a firmware update or something that allows their batteries to be chained in parallel up to 16 batteries. So that's huge, that's a big difference from being able to do four to 16. So these batteries will be viable for large solar uh, energy storage type applications too. So that's pretty cool. Another thing, uh, I, I did some digging into these batteries, uh, other companies that have, uh, you know, have their batteries manufactured by Top Band and I started seeing some discrepancies in some of the specs. So I, so I messaged, uh, top band to uh, Rebecca and kind of wanted to know what was going on with that and found out that the specs that they give me are purposely conservative. They try to make sure that they're conservative and don't push the boundaries of uh, that gray area or, or um, say anything that they shouldn't. And I, I really appreciate that. That's one of the reasons why I partnered with Top Band because I felt like they were being honest with me. I felt like they had a good reputation for quality. So what that means is previously I had published a cycle life of 2,500 cycles at 80% um, capacity remaining at 100% depth of discharge, by the way. Come to find out that, that it's much better than that. It's 2,800 cycles and with 83% remaining. Now I'm not sure why they stopped at 83%, but it is what it is. So that's, that's good news. 300 more cycles is almost another year of, of use for some people potentially. So that's, that's a great thing. And so I'm going to update these specs accordingly. So I pulled some people on the community page and asked, you know, you know, I, I got a lot of uh, feedback that people were very supportive of this project, very supportive of the channel. But, um, you know, historically it hasn't been a big thing on Patreon. I haven't really pushed that kind of stuff. And I don't really have the subscriber base and the channel makeup to really have like, you know, rabid fans that are wanting to buy merch, that are wanting to like hang on every word. It's just not the kind of channel that I do. I prefer to do like uh, educational content and not entertainment stuff or personality driven stuff. So that's fine. But a lot of people um, did express a willingness to support um, in some way, but not very many people can afford a battery, and I understand that. So, due to you know the results of that of a poll that I put on, I did release a merchandise store. Um, you can find that under the um, merchandise tab. I think that's what it's called, but. Um, there's an, a tab on the channel that, that is a place where you can go to buy products. Um, so check it out there. There's also a link I'm putting in every video description now that, that will take you directly to the, the merch store. So pick up a t-shirt, pick up a coffee mug, something like that to, to help support the channel. All the funds that are received from that will be used to go back into the channel to create more content, produce better quality videos, that kind of thing. Okay, enough of the update stuff. Let's get into the taking a peek inside the battery. So I took some, some footage. I'm not going to do a complete teardown video. This is the only battery I have right now and I need it for testing. So I don't want to accidentally damage the battery or, 
or do something. Plus, I'm not an expert in, in battery making as far as, you know, soldering and, 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 and all of the, the electronics and all that stuff, BMS makeup. Um, you know, I'll leave that to some experts. Uh, I do want to get this battery in the hands of someone who is much more experienced in that. I have a few people in mind, but if anyone has some experience with reviewing batteries and doing teardowns and reviews and, and testing and that kind of thing, let me know if you're willing to do that for me. But uh, I, that's not the purpose of this. What I wanted to do was just crack the case open, take a look inside, and give you guys a look at the build quality inside and maybe answer or bring up a few questions. If, if there's some questions, I'd be happy to ask Top Band the, the answers. But we're going to take a quick look inside. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please leave a like and a comment and tell me what you think.